All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I figured I'd follow this up with a comparison video. Uh, the last video, and feel free to go back and check the channel. We went over this Hodo uh, precision screwdriver, and all in all, this is a good screwdriver. But I wanted to also pick up, there's a budget-friendly WorkPro, and WorkPro's been kind of new on the scene, uh, picking up quite a bit of traction with their tools as of late. Uh, but I want to pick up this WorkPro because pricing-wise, you're talking about ten dollars less expensive than this so 25 bucks for this 15 bucks for this and the specs are really similar now here's the part number for it for you guys that are interested in w021794a i guess it's, it's also 795a uh depending on what part number you're looking up uh once again these ones come in multiple colors too although hoto comes in i think quite a few more colors if you have a color preference so it is the same in that it's a 21, 24 and one precision screwdriver. And it is the same in that it's also made in China. Uh, oh, blue, new for you guys. Uh, and when you look at the back here, same same idea. It's, it's an aluminum anodized construction, much the same as the Hodo. Uh, 12 piece double ended precision bits, exactly the same. These ones also claim to be S2 alloy steel. We'll look at that. Uh, nickel plated for rust resistance. And then all these bit choices are, I believe, identical when I went through them all. Uh, so it looks like a copy. And is it better or is it not? And once again, made in China. So let's take a quick look at the two. There's the box. There's the driver. So here's the Work Pro. Now they silk screened. Or no, I take that back. That's actually laser etched on. I believe the Hodo's laser etched too. Much smaller design uh, design versus this much larger design. And Work Pros, oh, just like the Hodo, has a ball bearing in the tip. Although, I don't see it down there as well. It's not quite as spinny. Let's do a little pressure test too. Now this one does have more deflection in the head. So as, if you're trying to put a little bit of pressure on it while you're spinning, you might start to get some rub on the corners there. Uh, now this one, that's a perfect drop right there. This one appears to also, have, well, it has magnets that holds everything in place, but they're not, they don't feel quite as sturdy as the Hoto. We'll pop those out, those carousels that you see. I mean, oh my gosh. Can we get any more identical in the carousels? Now on the end here, Right, the work pros this side so not as precision right you got a nut on there it looks like you got a an all thread probably running through the whole middle of this piece let's give it a little bend test let's got a little bit of bend to it you get the same amount of pressure on this one Ooh, stiffer definitely stiffer so this does not want to flex as much as the work pro so take note guys Take note. I'd also say that the center section is just slightly thicker on the Hoto too. Now, looking at these bits, and this is where my gripe is with Work Pro, because I used this Work Pro the other day on one of my knives, right, working on one of these screws. It was in there nice and tight. It was actually uh, Loctite in, and I was trying to pull it out. Let's see if we can find that bit. It actually, here it is. We'll try to get close, guys. Hang in there. Bear with me. If you look at the tip of that bit, you see how that just rounded itself off? Then I came right back with this one, with the Hodo. I believe it was, let's see, T2. I believe it was this guy right here. Yeah, did it just fine. No problems. So, and that's my, that, I guess that's my gripe, guys, is when you're looking at these bits, let's pull them up side by side. These Hoda ones very much have a professional impact kind of style to them, right? The finish is great, it's very precise. When you look at the Work Pro ones, yeah, they look good, but look at that weird satin finish to it. It makes you question whether they use quality metals in making these, or if they're just copying what Hodo says on their driver. But I will tell you, this 
could not hold up to the task, this one did. So if if ten bucks is what it is what makes you want to choose one over the other, I would definitely go the extra ten bucks and put your money in for the Hodo because. Yeah, especially if you if we're talking about tight fasteners if you got something maybe it's some computer related and it's and it's not quite as tight a fastener you'd probably be just fine with the work pro it's not that bad but in retrospect purchasing uh the work pro it's it's just not as refined um i i will say the one thing i really do like what the work pro did is this knurling this knurling is actually really great either direction that you work with that is nice um, as opposed to, right, the squared off shape. Now this is still good too, but if you could really bite in on this knurling, um, so that does feel nice. Now it's the same in that it's got a magnet in the end here, and it's also got a magnet in there. So as you drop the carousel in, it holds in place. I was actually going to test to see if you drop one carousel in versus the other. Oh, it's too long, but you could swap carousels, and this one should not reach the bottom. It doesn't even fit inside there. No, that's not, that's not gonna work. So, um, I would say, yeah, definitely, definitely the Hodo makes a statement when it comes when, when it comes to the quality of the two. Uh, Work Pro does have that nicer knurling. Um, the Work Pro, once again, same same bits inside, um, mag same magnetic carousel. Uh, weight wise, it even weighs a little bit less, two point three nine ounces. Uh, I believe the Hodo weighed 2.89 ounces, and the Hodo was 4.72 inches long. This is 4.65 inches long, so just a tad bit shorter. See, you can see there side by side. Just a tad bit shorter. Um, so up to you guys. I mean, these there they are side to side. Uh, if money's an issue, the Work Pro will be all right, but I would not trust it for those hard, uh, those tight fasteners. Uh, save up your 10 bucks, especially since I believe Work Pro has been causing uh, Hodo to drop their prices because they were 35 bucks plus for the, the set. Right now it's 25 bucks. So go pick yourself up, honestly, the Hodo. Uh, maybe get a backup if you like to Work Pro, but, uh, or maybe switch the bits over. You know, maybe I might choose to switch the bits over because I like this knurling. Um, but I don't know that I like, and we can see, I'll let you guys see the deflection on the tail end. I could make that rub right there. I guess if I push hard enough, you can make this rub a little bit too, but it doesn't want to go as easy. I like the action a little bit better on the Hodo. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear your comments. Do you have either one? Is there something you like or you dislike about them? Or is there another one that we're not looking at yet that we should probably take a peek at? All right, guys, uh, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments. Talk to you soon.